So the volunteers that we get through People and Places are actually, from our point of view, the best volunteers that we get. The reason is, is because from the very beginning, the relationship with People and Places, we're able to explain to them what we need, what kind of skills we're looking for, and beyond that also, what kind of attitudes. And I think that when you start out with the right expectations from a volunteer, and you can match the skills to actually what the need is on the ground, it changes the game. It isn't uh, a kind of, oh, we'd like to come. It's very much led from us. So we contact people in places and tell them what's going on, uh, what programs really need help and support, and then they're able to go out to their network and find the right volunteers. Also, because their volunteers are looking at it from a skills-based perspective most of the time, it allows us to bring really smart, intelligent people that bring a different level of thinking and involvement. And the ones that have come through people in places in the past stay engaged and stay involved. And it's really led to some development on the projects and programs.